Okay, before we continue, I wanted to give a quick tip about updating or modifying your goals in Goalmaster. Uh, when you export updated goals into your mission, what you'll find under the mission quest data is a mix of old and new goals that will mess up your mission. So what you want to do first, instead of individually trying to find and clean up old goals, is I've created a generic delete goal command file and this has all the deletes you need for this mission and more it never hurts to delete more that doesn't exist it just doesn't do anything but uh, basically this will clear out your mission of all goals when you update them so that you don't have a mix of old and new so the this is the create goals file what you can do to start this file is simply copy this text and find and replace quest create miss with quest delete in the name of the goal and you can build your own delete file and clear out your goals for updates so what i'm going to do is demonstrate that so first we run dot backslash cmds d goal dot command this will remove all my goals now it's empty here in my quest data and now you go back to uh, goal master you update your goals re-export them and then you run your file to add your goals back so run dot backslash commands um, miss 17 goals dot command and once you have your updated goals in you're good to go okay so let's talk about testing now you can go in and test your mission using these buttons normal hearted expert and none with no destructive consequences however this process difficulty button is destructive and what this does it'll actually modify your mission based around particular settings on objects this is if you customize your mission based on different difficulty levels now we have no need to run this command for our mission because we're not customizing the mission based on different difficulty. All we're doing is changing the objectives. So if you just change the objectives, you can easily just use these buttons. However, if you want more guards or less guards based on difficulty or more inventory items or less inventory items, etc., and you need to uh, have the mission change based on the difficulty, this will actually go in and delete objects based on your specifications so that's kind of more advanced but what you'll see is you'll a lot of fm authors or tutorials will uh have you avoid these altogether and just use something called nv debug scripts i'm not going to show that here because we don't need that but i may make a future tutorial on that but basically just know that if you we're just testing the objectives we can use these buttons fine all we need to do is set back to none and resave now let's say you do like the idea of customizing your mission and you find a way to do it you want to do it safely but you don't want to rely on third-party scripts i would suggest simply um, making a copy of your mission for testing first uh, and using the copy open that in dramed and doing all your testing there that way you don't have to worry about destroying anything inadvertently if you accidentally forget you're not supposed to save. Um, you can throw away the test copy when you're done and go back, make note of all the changes you want to make. Go back to your original files and make the changes then when you're not processing any difficulties. Okay, so our mission is done and we're ready to test. Before we do, make sure we're all up to date. So portalize, optimize, build pathfinding, build rooms, and build AI rooms. And now we're ready to go. Let's see if an arrow softens you up. Ah. <clears throat> hey, Oops, see what oh, oh, you. Okay, so we're done testing and we are ready to deploy the mission. So the first thing we need to do is go to complete processing. 
this will create a mission file. What we want to do is rename this done.ms file to the name of our mission description, miss 17. Once that's done, we need to add some string files. So we create a new folder called strings. And what's easiest to do is just copy the string files from an existing uh, mission. I'll use my own. We can copy these to our new mission and we can make a few modifications. So I'll open these and uh, our mission is 17. So what we wanna do is copy this information from 20 for my old mission to 17 for my new one. So that'll fix this file up. And now we need titles.string. We're gonna remove 17 through 19 and we will set the name of our mission appropriately as title 17 and appropriately here as short 17 and the titles.string is complete. Another thing we want to do is save our game sys to our mission because we actually um, created that welcome room, the end room, which was modifying the game sys. So now that the game sys is saved, we have one more thing, which is to add a file under interface. And I will grab that file as well um, from my old mission, just for simplicity, new game.string. I will paste that here and we can open that and change the name of the mission on the menu. So this is going to be the menu and we're going to have normal, hard, and expert difficulties for this mission. So if you didn't have normal, hard, and expert, you could change all this to normal so there's only one option. Um, and that is the setup we need for packaging our mission. Okay, now we need to talk about something called Angel Loader. This is an easy tool you can use to play fan missions in Thief 2. So what you want to do is visit the TTLG forums, go to Thief Series, Thief Fan Missions, and get a copy of Angel Loader. You can um, get different language versions and download and install this tool. Okay, when you first open um, Angel Loader, you're going to be presented with a setting setup screen. So what you want to do is put the path to your Thief2 directory executable and you're going to provide a path for your fan mission archive pass. This is where we want to package up our fan mission so that we can play it through Angel Loader just like all the other fan missions as well as have other players play your fan mission. So let's go back to our mission in our FM folder, we will copy it and I will navigate to the path that I created for putting my fan missions. So what I'm gonna do is paste my new fan mission here in this path. Sorry, I have a lot of fan missions here. Um, I'm gonna open it and now that it's here, we can remove files we don't need anymore. So I'm gonna delete the cow file, which was the original save file I used to develop the mission. Since this is just a copy of it, I still have the original. Um, and I'm going to delete this goal file since I don't need that anymore. Now we just need to zip these files to package it up. So we'll select them directly and say compress to zip file and name it new.zip. Uh, that will contain all our files. Let's put this zip file in our um, FM folder, delete this old file, and we are ready to test a deploy. So the way Angel Loader works is it's going to extract our zip file into back into this directory. So to test the deployment, let's rename our original folder, and that way it's going to deploy a new folder. So let's open Angel Loader, and um, you will find the new file here, and we can click Play FM. 
So now we can run our FM and see it in game, see all the difficulties, and play our FM and test it out. Deployed to Thief. So what I will do is quit and show you how it deployed the folder to our FM's directory. Um, so now we have the newly deployed folder, which only contains the miss game file and a start mission save file. Also has an FM select file that it added and our development copy, which we had renamed before the deployment. So now we know our mission deploys successfully and runs in Thief. So now you have a packaged up playable mission. Um, how do you release it? So the first thing you could do is go to the TTLG forums and paste a topic about your uh, new fan mission under the Thief fan missions forum. Here you can also ask any beta testing to be done because it's always good to have someone else play your mission before you release it to make sure that uh, everything works according to how you intend. And also there's another type of way to test in the Dramed Discord server. So you can find the topic under the Thief Editors Guild. And this is a very good dedicated community for building fan missions in Dramed and doing beta testing. Another thing you can do is create an account under the Thief Guild website. Um, here you can publish all your fan missions. And to get your fan mission online, you can simply take your zip file and um, use um, Google Drive or some type of file sharing site to upload the mission. Um, in the Thief Guild, they have a few different uh, websites that host fan missions that you'll see other uh, fan mission authors use. So you can look at those and use those same websites. And uh, many people in the community will be happy to play your mission, to test it, and to host your mission so that others can play it too. One more thing I forgot to talk about is a README file. So our mission says no README found. If you look at an existing README, you will see um, a lot of text here in Angel Loader. Uh, to make this README file before we package it, all you do is copy a, an existing README from a fan mission and uh, you will have just a text document. You can take someone else's README and replace all the text with your own mission's details and that's all you need to have your own README file. But that's an important thing to have for your mission that I forgot to discuss. So I'm glad I remembered before I published this video. But anyway, thanks for watching my series on how to create your fan mission and I hope you found it uh, very useful.